guys, Mr. Light is back with the road to El Dorado. Okay. When you don't leave a tip. Okay, first thing, we're going to take this sword as Miguel, apparently. Right, so let's get busy. Uh, yeah, this bush here, let's say we cut it. Follow me, I know the way. You know the way, do you? Okay then, that's a dead end. Hmm, I'm so not impressed. Well, uh, I mean, this way. Well, that didn't work. So, follow me, Miguel. Next on the to-do list, we want to cut uh, this one. This He really wants to go there, doesn't he? Ah, this one is a passageway, what apparently. We can't leave him here. It's a jungle, Miguel, not a trip through the park. But he'll be lonely. No, we'll come back for him later. So, he's he's just leaving the horse here. We found the gold. Sorry, Altivo. Wow. Okay, next on the to-do list, I want to, if I can get this right now, go to the side here, and he will climb up this rock. This vine here is what we need. This should do it. Let's cut us some vines, like we haven't already done it. A nice piece of rope. Heck yes! We got some useful rope. Rope is always very handy. Sliding down, I see. Now then, let us proceed. Uh, oh wow, what's this? Oh, look! That poor creature. That's life in the jungle. Is there nothing we can do? Short of betting on the snake? No. Have a heart, Tulio. So, that little creature there is being tormented by a snake. We need to save it. Wow, look at that. Yes, Miguel, it's a shadow. Did you ever notice you have one too? Very funny, Tulio. Just look, marker number two. Uh on the ground. Miguel, I do believe you're right. The cliff must be casting the shadow. He is not kidding. First things first. We've got the little creature to save. Yeah, apparently they want to save that little thing there. Alright, if you insist. Firstly, I wanna pick this up. Hey, do you hear that? makes funny sounds when the wind goes through it. That is going to be very important for us. Why? Miguel here is going to use it to save this creature. It's really bonkers, I know. Okay. Use the reed on the snake. I know. I'll hypnotize it with my flute. But you can't play the flute. But it's never too late to learn. Oh boy, here we go. Ah, it's terrible. A terrible amount of playing. It worked. I must be a natural. And it just left. Don't quit your day job, Miguel. This little guy is now our friends. I think that means uh, thank you. So, what's your name then? What was that? Oh, good grief. Just call him Bebo. Why Bebo? Sounds like Bebo. But what if it's not a him? With a name like Bebo, what does it matter? Uh... So, we saved Bebo from the snake. In your version, it sounds like I did nothing. Let me tell what happened next. So now we play as Miguel, as, sorry, I mean Julio. Yep, 
we're now going to do the next part of our plan. Now somehow we got to get up there, so what do we do? Quite simple really. We, if we can, go to Bebo and give him this vine. Bebo, can you hold on to this? Okay. As I guys. Okay. That's a slight problem there. Right, so now that Bebo's holding on to the vine, we want to examine this tree trunk here. Mm. Whatever this is. Could you give me a hand with this? Spaghetti arms. Oh boy, here we go. So what we gotta do is use Miguel to grab the tree trunk like this. Alright, I'm holding the tree. Now what? Now we use Bebo with the vine. Okay, Bebo, you're going for a little ride. Don't worry, it'll be fun. And when you get up there, push one end of the vine down for us, okay? Somehow this little guy knows exactly what we're doing. Yikes. Ready? And he literally goes up, very nice, and what I find is a bit unbelievable, he does in fact do what we told him. So there is the vine, let's climb up. Come on, Miguel, up we go. Yep, we're going uphill now. Nice going, Bibbo. Nice work, Bibbo. Yeah, not like you deserve it. How's your head, Bibbo? I swear this is nuts, having this little guy as our friend. Right, next thing we want to do, in this tree trunk here, is some sort of stick. A walking stick. Just what I will need for when I get old. Okay. Let's go this way now. Now we can't cross that river there. So you want to attach the stick to these rocks. Let's see. Just jam it in there. Let's stick it to the rock. So, if I push the lever... The rocks will... Now then! Tulio's gonna have a plan again! Miguel, you're so much stronger than me. Could you help me please? Uh... Let me have it! Miguel always seems to be tempted whenever Tulio says he's strong. I mean, come on, Miguel, it's so obvious what's going on and... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's that sound? Uh-oh. Run! Run for it! Yeah, yeah, very funny. Tell the story properly, will you? Okay, seriously, what the heck is with this? Okay, come on, Turlio, go back that way. Right, next stop. Across this stream here. Are you still with us, Bebo? Yes, he is. We press the action command and we can jump across. Oh dear, here we go. Now, what did that Moses guy do? That was a nice party trick. Where's my stick? Um. Yeah, you're pretty much insane. There can be miracles in my foot. Right, so what we do, first we jump to this. 
jump, jump, then we go this way, and jump again, very nice, no, 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 don't want to do that, I jumped the wrong way, jump back to Leo, okay, now we want to jump this way, that way, just wait a sec. Whatever you do, do not get hit by the fish or you'll, fa you'll fall in. And there we go, we're across. Well, that was easy. Are you coming, Miguel? Notice that turtle swap positions. Hey, Bebo, still following? Yeah, he is, don't worry, he's still coming with us. Alright, Miguel. Let's go and join our comrades. Okay, we go uh, jump first, are we? Hang on. There we go. Now we can do it. Jump. Jump again. Then jump to here. Jump to here. Now then. We want to, next, jump, jump, but at this point, um, Tudio? Yes? How did you get past this last bit? I jumped. All the way from here? Yes. Can't you do it? Something must have changed. Yeah, it did. It literally oh, changed oh, positions. Miguel. I'll find a way to help you. Yeah, no worries, Miguel. All we gotta do... Let's see if this doesn't do the trick. ...is push this rock into the lake. There you go, buddy! A nice little bridge for you. And now we can go across... Go that way by accident. Didn't mean to do that. I did not want that to do. What the heck? Dude, just go across. Go on then. I'm trying, but it's not aiming correctly. That's better. Thank goodness. Bebo, come on, boy. Now this time. Uh he literally comes to us himself. I'm not controlling him, he's just doing everything himself. And yet this little guy does a far better job. This guy is like, Bebo is just so flipping incredible. Jeez. And here he is. Bebo, that looks so easy. Well, we're over the river. Where do we go next? Let's find the skull. Uh oh. Okay, so now we have arrived at part two of the search for El Dorado. Meaning we have to look for a skull, which, believe it or not, they take us to right away. Here we go again. All we need to do is find the back door out of here. And then onto the weeping woman. Piece of cake. So, seriously, is Tulio know what might be in there? Is Tulio actually on board with this plan now? Listen to that little voice. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is all for this episode. Next time, into that passageway that Miguel made for us to find the next part to looking for El Dorado. I will see you guys next video.